Oh. Live from Mighty Mushroom headquarters, which is me, Corey. Um, I'm going to do a discussion tonight about Hawaiian shirts. I had a guest for the show, but uh, they fell through, and I'm too shy to go about asking people to be guests at this point. So uh, I'm going to do a video about Hawaiian shirts. Awesome ones. Really, really awesome ones. Oh, that was Instagram, which I really like. Stop doing that. Do, 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 do. Okay. I was going to do a shout out on Instagram, I guess. Saying that I was starting a video, a video, a video on Hawaiian shirts. I have a viewer. Um, let's see here. Hey, what up, Krillin? Are you are you still there? Hey, Krillin. I'm gonna do a show tonight. I had a guest. Um, here is the here is the link. I'm just gonna do a hangout. Bam, that's the link. Click on the link to join the show. So this is going to be an open forum about Hawaiian shirts. I'll, maybe they are here, maybe they're not here. Maybe they're in the ethers. Anyway, I am going to get started, and I'm going to get started talking about one of my favorite brands, uh, of Hawaiian men's Hawaiian shirts women's Hawaiian shirts this and oh I don't know he had to give his wife a massage or something <laughs> jump in man just just click on the link and jump in it's all good um, let's see let me go back to myself so I can see this is the rain spooner I believe it's pronounced rain spooner this is part of the commemorative classes classics collection which I think is these are really, really, uh, really, really sweet. They um, this tag is oh, it's okay, Krillin. Dude. It's, it's chilling. I don't have the equipment either. Krillin's just chilling. Uh, so, Rain Spooner. This is a classic collection. This was acquired at an estate sale. The cra crazy thing about these Rain Spooner shirts, it, how you know they're real, generally. The outside is the inside, and the inside is the outside. So the outside is going to look worn and weird, and this is like a Hawaiian shirt style. You'll find other, like Walk Barefoot does that too. Um, so on the inside, you have the full, the full, you know, color without the wear on it. This is a this is a really sweet, um, really sweet co coral reef scene with sculpins and starfish. And uh, corals and sea fans and all that crazy stuff. This is a great shirt. To be roughly fifty-five dollars, I have it. Um, I have it at like seventy-five. Oh, you just you just you just sold a Mets right? Yeah, they they do those sports ones. I, I don't find a lot of the sports ones. I'm in Portland, so they're in a lot of sports stuff here. <laughs> this is a this is another one from a separate collection. This is the. Um, Rain Spooner Hawaiian Traditionals. And uh, what you'll notice is got a little white tag. Same beautiful. This is a beautiful tulip um, pattern on the um, on the inside. This is like 100% cotton, I believe. These like cotton, 40% polyester. So crazy tulip scene. Extremely high quality, half half button. They're not all like that, but that one is. And then here is so this is another. This is a commemorative classic. It's it's, it's a shirt of shirts. So these are actually the shirts in the in the commemorative classics um, colorway. So the whole collection is on 
pretty crazy. So this shirt is a collection of the shirts within the collection. <laughs> I mean, who comes up with that shit? <laughs> it's so, funny. so this is the commemorative collection. Like I said, you'll see. Uh, see this one's this one's the opposite. You see this one has the exterior on the exterior, and the worn is on the inside on this one. Maybe to show the detail on the shirts. So that's a pretty awesome shirt of shirts, a shirt shirt. The third, the third one you'll commonly find. Obviously, the Disney stuff is really awesome. I don't have any Disney um, Rain Spooner shirts in stock because. I can't keep them. If I even have one, and it's even close to a fair price, it sells so fast. I love those things. This one has kind of a Disney kind of logo. This is uh, Dietrich Barres, I think his name is. So he has a whole collection of shirts. This one is my probably least favorite that I've seen, but it's cool because I mean, it's cool. I just I don't like the colorway that much, but you can see a little whatever the hell that is birds. Birds and whaling scenes and fishing scenes, really cool. And this one has the beautiful full color on the inside. <laughs> so, another rain spooner from the Dietrich. Oh, God, Dietrich. Yeah, from the Dietrich Barris collection. All right, let's see what we got here. Who wants to see this one? This is another Spooner from the Commemorative Classics collection. It's on that shirt that I just showed you. Really, really simple, basic design with the three buttons. This one has the pocket here. Uh, really, really nice colors. And the really nice quality. These are really, really clean shirts I acquired. At. In the States, I got about 50. That was uh, the craziest thing ever. I started really, really looking hard for uh, you probably noticed this uh, co commemorative collection on the co commemorative collection shirt. It's got the opposite again, are preserved on the inside. I'm not exactly sure why they did that. Maybe this side's smoother on your skin or, you know, something like that. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to do a shot at here. Oh, Oh, cool. Stage Place mentioned me on there second, a second ago. That's pretty cool. I'm, 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 I'm torn between this and that, so I don't want to – let's keep going. Um, And talk about these silly Hawaiian shirts. Do you? Uh, you said you sold a, a Mets rain spoon. Where are you, Krillin? Where are you? Um, are you in Mets country, or did you just find a random Mets shirt somewhere? Are you like in a specific state? I'm just gonna tell everybody that I'm live because I, I, my computer kind of shut down there. Oh, hey everybody! I am live on YouTube right now, doing a discussion about Hawaiian shirts, like this one. Hmm? All right. Shut down there. <laughs> oh, hey everybody! I am live. <laughs> you get to see all this Krillin. I'm sorry. I've done this before, but. I'm just trying to get, disseminate some good info and have fun. Live on eBay. No. Okay. <laughs> about that. Okay. Let's keep on rolling with the schmolen. If you are familiar with Hawaiian shirts, then you are, are ugly shirts, tacky shirts, Hawaiian shirts, monkey shirts, whatever shirts you like. Uh, I like monkey shirts. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I don't care where I got it from as long as I found the person who wanted it. Krillin says, don't you hate when you sold something and don't know where you got it? <laughs> I don't know, man. I like to sell it. So this is a really good example of, of Jan's world. If you're walking through 
the aisles of a thrift store and you see a pattern like this, go over and hound that thing. I um so the thing about Jams World is they're made of crushed Japanese rayon. And you'll know that they're real because they they have they're they're wrinkled. You see all these crazy wrinkles in it? No matter what you do, it just stays wrinkled. Crushed Japanese rayon for all your crushed Japanese rayon needs, shirt needs. They also make uh, Jams World dresses and Jams World ties, Jams World shoes. Uh, I've never found a pair. This is a great example. Looks like the flag of a very independent nation to me. Other big Jams World. Will Smith chillin. This is a long sleeve one. Hot solid for the upcoming cold season we call it fall and then winter. This one is uh, unusual. Um, just because all Jams World shirts are unusual. Here's a bouton. You can see the buttons a splashed. I've seen them that would appear to be ceramic, but these are plastic and they have like speckles. See, just the Little details, you know, that the details really make it what, it, what they are. They really make them what they are. There's certain shirts that just get a lot more interest, it seems like, too. Uh, the one I'm wearing, a lot of people have asked me about. I, I don't really wear inventory. I'm wearing this right now because I'm just acting silly. But um, this, is the, this is the 30th anniversary of Jan's World. This is another tag. Now, these are, this is the only one of these I've, I've seen. Uh, you know, and, and I've come into a couple of collections of Jan's World, and um, and I've and I find them at the thrift you know, over the years. Really straight back, you can really see that crushed ray, that crushed Japanese rayon, right in there. Uh, one of my, this is Newport Blue. So all these shirts have one thing in common beyond anything other than being ugly is that they're made in the United States. That's good. So these are made in the United States, and this one doesn't even have a tag. It only has the Newport Blue on the back. Newport Blue makes the awesome t-shirts. I sell their t-shirts. This is really, really, it's got the uh, taro leaf and the toucan, which is more like Costa Rican than Hawaiian, but it's still a great tropical scene, and I would definitely wear this shirt. It's very, very cool. Uh, you don't see a lot of Newport Blue Hawaiian shirts out there, but they do exist. I'm going to go through some other stuff. Some of the ones I like, they might not be the best out there, but they're ones that you should pick up because they're, they're just there's a lot of Hawaiian shirts. And I'll go through some of the brands maybe you shouldn't, um, like Campia Moda or anything. So this one's awesome. It's a, it's a Joe... Kia, Kia Lois, Joe Kia Lois, and it's got this crazy multicolored embroidered tag with the dude on the beach with the mountains. It's like total 8-bit deliciousness. Uh, it's a little Hawaiian welcoming scene, so you got like the boat coming in and the, uh, the, Hawaii, the native Hawaiians paddling out to the boat and the, and the luau dancers. And uh, really, really cool historic Slightly historic uh, scene. Beautiful colors. Just really, really beautiful colors. Get on to the next one. This is a also Jams World. This is kind of peculiar for Jams World. Well, Jams World is peculiar. This is a long sleeve work shirt. It's heavy canvas. Okay. I estimate the value of this shirt to be above seventy-five dollars. You also pick them up. I mean, they're going to take a while to sell. Somebody has to like it. It has to be their size. This is a large size, but dude, I'm a large size. Look at the shoulders on this thing. This is, these shirts are huge, 
huge. Look at how large. I'm a large. I'm six foot. I'm six foot tall. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's a really nice heavy canvas with Kapow. Crazy red, blue, interesting boutons. Boutons. Um, I just liked this. This is. I'm gonna go through several shirt brands. I just like this, and it was made in the United States, so I put this is Island Magic. It's more of a, it's more of a of a, of a satin, but it's got the um, it's got the hibiscus flowers, and it's very very high quality. Um, you know, I try to maximize the amount of money I spend on on uh, stuff that's made in the United States. It's just very very high quality. It really is. Um, so that was, um, I always forget to say, right? Island Magic. Here, there's lots of brands. Uh, I just like the heavier duty stuff and the more interesting patterns. Uh, I love this. This is Kahala. This is an extra large. These are 100% cotton, they're not a blend. So it's this beautiful gray contrast. This is a. Beautiful greens. I mean, look, look. Let's um, so you can see the inside because the, because the shirt's opposite. The colors get really protected really well for the, from the original on the original fabric. So this is Kahala. Um, it's got you know a five color embroidered tag. You know they really spent a lot of money on making this stuff. Really right. It's really cool. Maybe you've seen that brand before. Maybe you haven't. Anyway, it's a cool one. Surfline, this is sweet. Surfline, you can get really good money for these shirts. This is a vintage shirt, Surfline. It's got a very similar tag to the Jams World, so I don't know if they're related in any way. They might be. So this was just this, you know, all the little islands and stuff, Kona, Hawaii, Maui. Um, let's take a look at the buttons. The buttons are really cool. They, they're uh, chrome buttons that... Uh, say surfline with a little registered trademark on surfline so it has these custom metal buttons sweet and people ask me how i get this stuff i go out and find it that is the truth that is the only truth this is a uh i think it's kai kai nani i believe kai nani that's like a Japanese phrase, a, Japanese, a Hawaiian phrase. People always tell me I look Hawaiian, which I think is a very large compliment. Because Hawaiian people are beautiful. Uh, Kainani is a, it's a blend, a poly, poly cotton blend. But you can see the shirt, like, there's not even any wear on this tag. It's like it's never been worn. Pink, blue, awesome colorway. I don't know what it's representing. It's just like a little floral like abstract floral pattern, geometric floral pattern. But I like the colorway, so I bought it. Um I got some odd brands in here. Oh, this one this one should be cool. This is uh there was a movie Moana and uh so this is the Moana shirt company. Moana means ocean in Polynesian I believe so I think it's the ocean shirt company. This has been washed a few times. This size extra large. Uh, it's got a much more intricate pattern. It's got coconut buttons. And uh, the, the the colorway is going to blow your mind because you look at it this way and you're like, oh, that's pretty. Well, look at the actual fabric on the inside. Look, it's just extremely high quality, beautiful flowers and these odd colors. I definitely see the narcissus there. I think that's a narcissus. It could be an orchid. It could be a narcissus. But lots of awesome flowers in there. Paradise Found? I'm not... Yeah, Campiomoda's cool. Krillin says uh, Campiomoda's actually decent. They're decent shirts, but they don't sell for any money, and I do this to, to resell, you know. I, if, I can get plenty of awesome shirts, so I'm lucky in that. I mean, I'm lucky in that regard. Let's see what else we have in here. I think this is a really interesting. This kind of runs into like more s d subdued 
uh, Jam's World. This is still Jam's World, but it's more in the traditional Hawaiian shirt style. Not traditional Hawaiian, but tr traditional Hawaiian shirts. It's a little, it's a, an abstract hibiscus, it looks like, with some palms or something. Still really cool colors. Crushed Japanese array. Why? Why? Why make a shirt out of crushed Japanese rayon? Can you answer that question? Anyone out there? Anyone out there in internet land? Uh, this is a Tahiti new look. We made in the United States. Tahiti new look. Uh, very, very lightweight fabric, but very, very high quality. Nothing special about the buttons, but I think this is an older shirt based on the printing method of the tag. This is more vintage. This is probably more from like the 70s or earlier. Probably 70s. Uh, pretty cool. Tahiti look. Tahiti look. Tahiti new look. Campia Moon. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're lightweight shirts. I'm talking to Krillin in the chat here. Let's see what else we got. How many, do you, Krillin, do you sell Hawaiian shirts or you just collect them? You're going to see a lot of Hilo Hattie. Don't buy it unless it has like a black and white tag like this and it says made in Hawaii. This is an awesome shirt. Look at that. The beautiful orchids. We have some shells. And just in the ridiculous colors. Take a look at the buttons. This one has just plain buttons. Hilo Hattie didn't do too much special with their buttons. But it's got the clams, you know? The clams are where it's at. Gotta, gotta take care of the clams. Go through another rain spooner. Yeah, they're hard to find, dude. I have like a serious haul here. I mean, if you know about finding these shirts, what I'm showing you right now, I found these in one most of these in a single place and uh, yeah <laughs> so there's the classic uh, the commemorative classic collection this was really cool this is a uh, this is a plant called detura also known as henbane I believe or uh, Brugmansia's the genus uh, Angel's Trumpet contains scopolamine, is used in, you know, um, magic rituals still today, especially in the Amazon. It's believed to be one of the most powerful plants there. Boom. So, I think any ugly Hawaiian themed shirt is a good investment. This, oh, this is a really weird one. This is their. This is a Regency cotton lawn, and it's one of the few rain spinners. It's so light. It's just so lightweight. They're usually really, really heavy. It doesn't have the traditional tag. It's got this other strange tag, and it's still in the Hawaiian traditionals line, but um, it's a little bit peculiar. It's a little bit peculiar. Regency cotton lawn. I don't know. I don't know what that means. It kind of looks like a lawn a little bit. <laughs> I don't think that's what they're talking about. Uh, so this is kind of a combination of a haul video and a and a show and tell video at the same time, you know. Because this is this is technically a haul. I didn't I didn't uh, I didn't show it before, but that doesn't mean it's not an actual haul, you know. So. Keep going. Act of fool. All right. So we got our gems world. Gems world. If you're in the chat, click on the link and get into the show and talk. Gems world. I don't know why I picked up this gems world. Probably because I'm slightly drunk or something. So the, the most important thing is like I'm showing all of these patterns to you. This is a gems world. This is a gems world. When you're walking through the aisles or you're in a place and you see the this type of crushed rayon, you can quickly be like, snag, and snag that thing, just snag these, these are sweet, forever, so hurry up, for me, they'll be in style forever, I've been waiting for an excuse to wear dumb ass shirts for my entire life, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm young and I'm dumb and I'm good at finding shirts. Yeah. So then another rain spooner. I love this shirt because it's like, it has the, I think that's the, the poo poo bird or something. It's like the Hawaii, it's a state Hawaiian bird. It's like this goose. Then you have the hibiscus and the Hawaiian flag, I believe. So here's the inside. Very nice. Boom. Sexy. You'll, you'll get all of the squirrels with this type of shirt. So that's a little collection of Rain Spooner classic Hawaiian shirts. I'm going to throw these back in the old bin here. That's a lot of shirts. I'm going to show you a couple more actually as I go because there's just a lot. This is another commemorative collection. The great thing about this one, it's it's on the shirt is the commemorative collection. So let me blow your mind here for a second. See if I can See if I can do this right. Okay. All right. Check this out. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we can do here. All right. la, 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 la. Yeah. Okay. So it has like. This is Morea 87, Lahaina Sailor 68. It's not the actual collection. I'm sorry. That's that was dumb of me. It's it's shirts of other collections, but it's still Rain Spooner shirts. But check. So this one is pink with the blue. And this one is blue with the pink leaves. <laughs> very, very similar. Very, very similar patterns. So. <laughs> cool. uh, going along with that one, this is also in the commemorative collection. Uh, I kind of lost my, since I started moving these things around, I kind of lost my train of thought. We got a ton. Yes, I do go into. Did I show you this 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 work shirt? I think I did. This work shirt, if you didn't see it, peculiar because it's a work shirt. Get the buttons, and I'm back through these. That one I don't particularly like. So I probably have uh, sixty to seventy-five. Or more shirts in stock. Um, I have some other crazy. This one gets a lot of attention. This must be a really rare shirt. It says, um, this is like, I guess, early James Wood. It says, 100% exclusive spun crushed Japanese rayon made in Hawaii, USA. It feels just right. I don't know how long this broadcast is going. Let me check this real quick. I don't want to make this too long. So I get tons of, I have a really high price on this shirt, and all of my Hawaiians, these Jams World that I bought at this, this, this Jams World Hall, have really high prices. I haven't, I'm not offering buy it now on them. So they're just chilling until, let's see what happens in fourth quarter, because I think I'm going to slay on these things. I really hope so. Oh, you want to see the color block again? Yeah, let me show you. You mostly look for suits, Jams World suits, or just suits, suits in general. Yeah, I don't sell a lot of suits because I'm not like I don't wear suits. Boom. Yeah, it's it's very like it's very like heavy D or something. I don't know. It's right out of that kind of school. It's like right when they made this mug. Check out this. San Jose from the nineties. Somebody at Google or and somebody a big wig. I'm gonna i I'm gonna put a really high price on this and see if I can draw in a collector. Dude, what is up, Lonnie? What is up, Lonnie? Join in. Join in now. Man feet. Click that shit and get in here. Come in, come in, come in. I'm doing this show to connect with, so get in here. Hopefully, I don't know if you saw the show last night. It was really, really, really amazing on the, on the back end of the show, but I, I would definitely keep going. I have another bin I can pull out here. Oh, come on. Just come, come live. Come, on. come in. The water's warm. Just for emotional support. Come on. 
Throw me a throw me a life vest. Come on, save this guy. I don't need anybody to save me. I'm actually gonna get <laughs> I'm actually gonna get another bin of shirts. You wanna see some more shirts, dudes? Or do you want me or, or is it boring? Because I can do something hilarious, like I can like uh do backflips or something. But no, I'll get some more. I'm gonna get another bin of shirts and show you guys. So that everything that came out of um Lonnie, look, Lonnie, I'll just do this for you. So you can see. I don't know if you saw everything. One. These all came from the same estate sale. Two. I've sold five or six of these. Three. Lean spoon it. Beautiful tulips. Jams world. Jams world. Jams world. Jams world. Another one. I bought. 39 shirts uh, This is Newport blue. It's a really awesome brand. They make amazing. It's got the tarot leaves and the um, the two cons Lonnie's too much of Lonnie's too scared to come um, Scared to come on this shirt. I would uh, I, I If you want to see some comps just check out look at the highest I, I don't I go 20 30 percent above people I have a hundred percent positive feedback and I don't like I I price it for what I feel like it's worth and especially if it's unique I'll price it even higher than that um, I am going to show you guys a ridiculous shirt in about one minute that it's gonna blow your mind but uh, I was smart I um, would have made it more accessible. I did make it more accessible. The average, yeah, dude, I'm a, I'm a, I'm from New Orleans, man. The average shirt price in here is probably fifty five dollars, sixty five dollars. Like I said, this one gets a lot of. I've got this one about a hundred bucks, and I've had a lot of people ask me a lot of questions, especially about the measurements. The measurements of the shirts really aren't um yeah you're you're right in there Lonnie I think a little bit higher than that I can show you if you look at my Instagram Lonnie subscribe to a mighty mushroom is my name on Instagram my phone's about to die on my chargers in my car but um here let me show you I'll show you some good examples right now Jams World ties are crazy I sold a Jams World tie in five minutes for 50 bucks. So I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see. This shirt, I don't know if you can see. 60 bucks. I don't want to screen share right now. I got to go through. It's going to give me a panic attack. So I'm just going to show you. So that's an actual. Uh, so, so this came from the Nike haul. Lonnie, if you haven't seen the Nike haul video, like, please subscribe to my channel and watch that video. It will also blow your mind. I'm just lucky. Cajuns are lucky. You know that because you know you're from Cajun country or are Cajun. I don't know what your, uh, but mine is the Cajun Smith, and you'll you probably know what that is. Uh, this is Mom. This is Mambo Loud. This is one of the earliest Mambo Louds I ever found. This thing is so awesome. So five color embroidered tag. Fish, chilling with French fries. There's another embroidered tag here. It says Mambo. These are made in Indonesia. Some of them, and some are made in Australia. I think this one's um made in Indonesia. So it's got the fish jumping around. There's a fish hook with a French fry as the carnada. That's Spanish for bait. So there you go. Man, I should have put some music on the background. It's probably boring. Just this gonna talk without some kind of music. Or maybe people put on their own music. I don't know. There's also salt. So I listed this shirt for one ninety nine ninety nine, and I expect to get that. Cough, hasn't it? <laughs> what does that mean? 
Oh, was, are Lonnie, are you blowing up on YouTube? I watch your videos when I can, but I honestly, I'm very, very busy. Like, my eBay business is very, very busy. Doing as much content as I was before, and I'm making it. No, oh, Mother's Mustache is MM. I'm Mighty Mushroom, so I thought when you said MM, you were talking about Mighty Mushroom. Mother's Mustache, Mighty Mushroom, very nice. If you find Mambo Loud, buy it, please. The minimum price you'll find is like 80, probably 70, 80 bucks. That's the low end. So I'm going to grab another case of shirts for you guys. Since you're here, we watched until I, you know, until you want me to shut up. You can just tell me to. <laughs> so, that bin for you guys. so that was the first bin. This is the second bin. Uh, these all come from retail Goodwills. And I'm just going to show you some wacky, awesome examples. I think I showed you a Newport Blue before. This is a whole different Newport Blue. And if anybody's here and they want to join this broadcast, please do so. The tag's coming off of this guy. New for blue. No odors. I never buy anything with odors. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's not my favorite, but somebody will pick it up. Somebody will pick it up. Oh, let's see. I have a lot of shirts. I go out looking for these. I have no idea what brand this is, but it's very high quality. Uh, it's Karen Scott. This is Karen Scott. So some designer. Somebody cut the tags off of it, but it still says her name on the buttons, which is pretty cool. It's uh, pretty sweet. Oh, the Led Zeppelin shirt. Yeah, dude. Let me see. Hold on, hold on. I did I did not I didn't find it, but let me um let me look for it. Let me see if I have a draft for it real quick. Okay. Sorry. I'm gonna show it to you. I'll, I'll put the link. Um, I'll put the link in the in the uh, chat. If you'll bear with me for one second, I'll find it for you. If there's if there's a draft, I'm not sure yet. Like I said, I'm I have 400 drafts, so I'm like a little bit behind in drafts. And for some reason, you can't search in drafts. You just have to like go through them. Listings, active. Make sure it's for something that I didn't list already. Lead. Let me see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, dude. No, wait. Hold on. No, it's not listed. Okay. Mid. Active listings. Support drafts real quick. Krillin wants to see the... Now you made me... Ugh. I'm terrible at this computer. Now I lost the chat. Again, I'm so bad at this. Is this cool? There we go. Okay. Okay, so Lonnie, I have third party I have third party drafters, so I have three independent drafters. I give them items. They make drafts and then they bring the items back to me and then I price and edit the images on those items. So I do all of that, the final listing, I do all of the inventory, I do all of the processing and shipping, I do all that shit myself. And I'm right now I'm doing like 10,000 a month roughly on eBay. So I do the best I can, but I gotta take a break sometimes. And uh, yeah, this is annoying. You cannot, the problem with this stupid I need to send eBay a like a letter about how you cannot search for an item in drafts. So right now, let's uh, just to be completely impartial, my lister just dropped stuff off a minute ago, and I have 286 drafts sitting here. I'm I'm trying to create much more professional listings, and with that comes a little bit 
of backlog and a little bit, you know, trying to get more of an understanding of what creates a little bit higher market velocity. I like, um, you like Lonnie, if you look through my store, you'll really, really like it. Like I'm looking at drafts right now. In drafts, I have two pairs of Gucci sunglasses. <laughs> I've got some Starbucks mugs that are way, way high end, some Gucci earrings, some Tiffany sunglasses. I got a ton of awesome shit. Let me, I'm trying to find this Led Zeppelin draft. Give me a second, Krillin. You're busting my balls about this. Busting my balls about... Yeah, no, no, it's okay, Lonnie, man. I, I know that you're... Um, how long have you been reselling, Lonnie? Just jump in the chat so I don't have to, like... Just jump on. Just just don't even don't put the don't put the um don't put the picture on if you don't want. Just just talk. You don't even have to say anything unless it's interesting. It's okay. It's okay. I would love it if you jumped in right now. It would really make my day. Oh, three years, that's good. I I'm I'm a, I'm like uh I've been reselling since like two thousand one. So and I'm thirty seven. So most of my life. <laughs> ah, dude, I can't. We can't. Later on, I won't say I didn't try to get you. I'd love to do a show together, man. Uh, anytime in the evening um, you want to do a show, I will definitely do one. Do any kind of haul or any kind of uh, discussion. But yeah, so what happens is because of that, because of my. Um, because of my contractor system, that's 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 kind of become the new bottleneck. So I'm trying to working I'm trying to work around that bottleneck, but it's still it still exists, you know. So let me continue to try to find Krillin's Led Zeppelin shirt here. I'm looking through all of these drafts right now, live on YouTube. Mighty Mo Corey at Mighty Mushroom, looking through 200 drafts to find. A shirt which might be with a lister right now and maybe they didn't they haven't drafted it yet but it will be here at some point god why can't you search in drafts that's so annoying so 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 annoying camera 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 oh my god I have like my average item is 40 bucks so do the math of what I have in drafts 40 times 100, 4,000, 8,000. I got like $8,000 in potential in drafts right now. <laughs> oh, here it is. I found it. 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 I'm going to complete the draft. You ready? Krillin, are you ready? Krillin, are you ready? Hey, dude, what's up? Join this chat right now. We're gonna get, we're gonna get, oh shit. Yeah, dude, exactly. Exactly. Okay, vintage Led Zeppelin t-shirt. Let's, um, I don't know what to list this as, at, so I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna, God, what could, I'm gonna put a ridiculous price. I'm gonna put $299.99. I just, I don't want, I don't, I want you to, I don't know. I don't know how popular these are. I have no idea how to price it. It's 1984. I thought it was 1979. But it looks like it's, um, it looks like it's, oh, here's the, um, I'm going to, I'm going to put the, I just posted the auction. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to post the auction and I mean, uh, You don't need any equipment. If you have a laptop, you got it. Just get on here. Somebody. Jeez, Louise. It's like pulling teeth. I can't get somebody to come and hang out with me. I know I'm ugly, but Jesus, give me a shot. <laughs> I probably talk too much, too. That's why I'm just going to keep talking. So that is the... There is no tag. Somebody cut it, dude. Somebody cut it. Uh, look at it. Somebody... It, it it's cut around the um, you have a desktop computer what do you like 
Fred Flintstone? Do you have a car where you stick your feet through the bottom and like do your feet like that? All right, I'm gonna keep going with my discussion of Hawaiian shirts until somebody gets so bored that they just leave. All right, Kilo Hattie. Uh, I I was talking about picking these up if they were made in the United States. I didn't notice that this one was made in Indonesia, but still, it's the the, the subject matter is really cool. I don't buy Hilo Hattie if it's made in the, in, the, uh, in China. It's got the little the little clock tower thing. This must be an icon of Hawaii because it's on a lot of shirts. That little I'm not smart enough. It says Aloha. Avoid most of it, but if it's made in the United States, definitely pick it up. Are you serious? You have an E? Yeah, some Hilo had himself, not all of it. Uh, I'm going to show you some rarer ones. I have over a hundred. Yeah. This is a Takaloha, which is a, it's it's made in Japan by Mont Bell. And uh, here's the label. It's three color embroidery. It's weird because it's a Japanese, it's got the chrysanthemum flower on there, I believe that is. They make the tea out of that. Really awesome yellow. It's the same. It's it it um, it's older definitely. It's 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 just really true vintage. Takaloha. You're gonna see a lot of weird. Mont Bell is the company, but this was a high end clothing company, and I don't know if they still exist. But when they add those little accoutrements, you can. Is that item number pulling something for you? What does that mean? Yeah, Krillin's right, but at the same time, you know, I, I like to have pretty solid inventory. I'm gonna, I've got some, uh, yeah, some novelty. Like I, I like to bring out my personality in my eBay listing, so I um. I really try to find unique and ridiculous stuff. This is dogs playing poker. And uh, I'm just going to hold this up for a second so you can really just soak that in. Bulldog's got his hat on backwards. He's chilling. Got these crazy big waxy buttons. And uh, it's such a crazy piece. Uh, here's the back. This is made by... Sapphire Lounge, and I think I saw some comps of Sapphire Lounge shirts that were pretty awesome. Just crazy. It hasn't sold. It may be in drafts. Dude, uh, that's the that's the I, that's the item number of the um, that's the item number of the shirt. So I just I just I just posted it, but it's got it's cut around the neck, so you can't see any tag information. But it is aged, and it, it really does look. I, I don't. It's uh, Myth Gem LTD. Myth Gem LTD is the is the embroidery on it. Um, Myth Gem T-shirt. So I don't know. You tell me, Krillin. You ever heard of Myth Gem? Yeah, it looks good. What is it, what, Krillin? What what is a shirt like that worth? Even with the um, with the with, with the uh, chunk cut out of it like that. Lonnie, also, how did you find me? I'm just curious. How did you find this live broadcast, Lonnie? And and Krillin. Like, could you guys just give me a little bit of insight on how you found me? So I can basically do better at getting... Um, letting people know what's going on if they want to watch it. You know? Cook Street. This is an older one. It has... Um, got a really awesome three color embroidery on the tag gold honolulu uh it was made it says it was made by cook street and i find cook street shirts a lot but for liberty house and i don't know what liberty house is maybe it's like a fashion house or something there are regattas and catamarans and they it must be for an international race because there's the flag of norway and the flag of some other place and the flag of I don't know, Venezuela or something. What else is on here? Lots of different flags of different nations on here. There's the United States. Some kind of race. 
Liberty Liberty House. I'm not sure. Pretty cool though. I like I like little collab, I like little collab stuff. I'm just pulling stuff that's in my um, that's in my uh, Hawaiian shirt for sale collection. <laughs> that's cool. Just happened to look at your YouTube channel and you were like, oh, "That's awesome." Thanks for coming in, Lonnie. I appreciate it, man. I know you're probably busy doing your eBay stuff. This is one of my favorite shirts that is in the entire collection. Uh, I, I actually, this is one shirt I break my rules with, and I and I and I will put this shirt on just to make myself feel good. These are pears, my friends, the pears, uh, the family or or the bro the bromance of pears here. We got this one who's chilling. We got a little flower in the hair. This one's drunk under an umbrella. We got a coconut over here. We got a pineapple. We're doing a little pear um, skiing, and uh, this pear seems to be very happy about um, driving a boat. And I would be happy about driving a boat too. Let me get you a little bit better view of the graphics on this. This is totally from the 50s. Uh, you can tell by how it's printed. It's in exceptional condition and I'm asking like a lot of money for the shirt. I think I'm asking a hundred bucks for the shirt and more just because I love it and uh, if you want it you're not gonna find I, if you find another shirt this exact shirt I'll give you a thousand dollars you have to send it to me no so you all came from the same estate sale this bin of shirts is just an aggregation of shirts that I found this year so these are just since I started doing Hawaiian. Now, I do do quite a good business in Hawaiian shirts, but I've gone more to the high end. And uh, it slowed down my sales, but I get so much more for the shirts. So I'm doing about the same amount of business. I'm just being more selective about the shirts that I'm bringing in. I'm only bringing in stuff that's made in the United States, um, like this one. This one is apparel stuff. It has a website on it, which means it's relatively recent, but it still has an embroidery. Um, this was made for some company. Uh, it says Urban Airship. I don't know what Urban Airship is, but maybe uh, I should look it up on the internet. Urban Airship. What the hell is Urban Airship? See, those are the little things you got to notice about these type of shirts. Uh, improve app engagement today. Effectively reach and retain your users. Sign up for a free starter, blah, 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 blah. So Urban Airship is a market-leading mobile app engagement program. So somebody works for Urban Airship, I'm sure. But they did a collab, which is pretty cool, with this company. Or they, uh, they hired them to make these shirts. Pretty sweet. I got another Kilo hat here, but... I'm gonna divert, I'm gonna divert from here to Hilo Hattie because I think it's the lower quality of of the. Um, these are the ones I keep my 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 closet is Royal Creation, so I wear Royal Creations. They don't go into my inventory usually. I had two of this one. It's got the sick pineapples and the silly flowers. Uh, Royal Creations, made in the great United States. All of these shirts that you're seeing are made in the United States, except for. Uh, very few of them, one made in Japan, a couple made in Indonesia. So, you know, I really, 95% of my inventory is in these types of shirts is, um, yeah, anything that Kramer, anything that's made in the United States is Kramer, is Kramer approved. So these are some really good examples of shirts that are in my inventory. Some of them are, I have that are boring, but they're they're cool brands and they're made in the United States, so I just keep them. This is a uh, Montessoruti, and uh, it's not that good. I don't know why I have this in my shop, but maybe it was in the beginning of me buying Hawaiian shirts in mass or it was cheap or something, but it certainly doesn't match the caliber of I uh, do. This is Cook Street. So we're, I was talking about Cook Street before. This is the taro plant. It's got a great mm, gray colorway. And it, it's not for the Liberty thing. It's just a, just Cook Street. 
it's, it's got that same rain spooner style where it has the the rayon in the, in, or it has the uh, the fabric on the unspoiled fabric on the inside and the rough fabric on the outside. I do love the shirt. Okay. And at this point, I am making a mess. I haven't seen a lot of clothing in your. I kind of perused your shop before. I think, maybe, because oh, I made you. I'm the dude who made you the offer on the red Motorola, Lonnie. Uh, you know, I, I I figured it was worth about eighty bucks, but I thought it was really cool, so I offered you one twenty five, and you declined it. And I was like, whoa, this dude's strong will. And uh, then it looks like you sold it, but then the person didn't actually buy it or something like that. That was me, 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 me. But I wasn't I wasn't online as my brand. My, my the name of my company is Mighty Mushroom, and uh, I uh, people call me Mighty Mushroom. But that's my name is Corey. My company is Mighty Mushroom. My brand is Mighty Mushroom. You can call me Mighty Mushroom if you want. You can call me Mighty. You can call me Dan. Just call me. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna show this. It, it filtered you out because <laughs> you said the F word, you dirty, dirty man. You dirty, dirty, dirty man. So I'm going to go on. Lonnie, I'm just, because I'm so behind on a lot of things, I, um, I'm i going to start producing content every night on, like, cross halls. So, like, I did a Nike video that you should watch, like I said, and... Uh, I'm going to do a high-end shoe haul where I talk about some – I got some shoes for like 6 bucks and stuff for like 600 um, I've just been in a scene that's pretty, pretty awesome. About, um, yeah, man, I'm going to be back in uh, New Orleans, the New Orleans area in December. By that time, I'll have a lot more content and stuff. And uh, uh, if you're around in the Christmas period, you know, um, maybe we go picking together sometime. Uh, my dad lives in Abita Springs. Yeah, I know you're. I think you're in Denham or something like that. I live in Portland, Oregon. I moved. I was like 21. So yeah. I think I figured by listening to your channel that you were somewhere around like Denham Springs or something like that. But maybe I'm wrong. Anywho, I am pretty tired, and I still need to get out my uh, my draft. So hopefully, let's see. I don't know how long we've been live, but if you go back to the video, Lonnie, like the beginning, there's a ton of um, info on Hawaiian shirts, what to look for. Uh, if you prefer, like I, I like to do listings and show sales comps and stuff, but um, I'm really new and I'm trying to really get comfortable. And I'm really, this is really practice. I'm really glad you're here, actually. That uh, that was really cool that you found it because uh, you're somebody that I watch. Uh, so, like I said, I don't consume as much content anymore. Fires are gone, dude. It started raining, like, last week, and it's been raining quite a bit. Fires are done. I, I'm a mushroom hunter as well. Like, so one of my hobbies is mushroom hunting. So I went through there on... Um, Sunday morning and got to see like the real depth and breadth of the of what the fire did and it's it's pretty fucking crazy dude. Yeah, it's it's it is crispified out there. I mean, it's it's really Yeah. Yeah, I'm comfortable with myself, but at the same time, I'd rather collaborate with somebody than just talk on my own. It's weird like talking to the chat with a voice. I'd rather have people collaborating with me. Uh, and talking about um, you know things they notice and uh, you know things I notice and like just using it to like play off each other and get better a better dynamic you know. But thank you. Oh no, I've never seen the Idaho hillbilly, uh, but I'll look for him. Um, what's going to happen in the in the spring and early summer is there's going to be the largest Morel explosion. 
there's like 15 miles of charred forest near the river and all of that grow morels. Uh, I'm very, Krillin, I'm very familiar with fake Chinese truffles and I, I, I'm a, I was, I'm a botanist. Uh, I'm a field botanist who, um, I was trained, you know, college trained in botany, did field work and I just didn't want to do it anymore. And I've been reselling that entire time, but I just never had the confidence to go out and do it because I was like a baby. I wasn't really an adult until I was like 30. <laughs> so I, uh, I made the decision to do what I thought uh, I was good at. And uh, even though I do love the mushroom hunting, it's not really viable economically. Like I can't produce the amount of income with the amount of work that I do now. And I don't, it's a perishable product, so it's it's kind of hard to deal with. So you got to, along with perishability comes infrastructure. You need waste inputs. This I'm like, right now it's like I'm growing mushrooms, but I don't need the mushrooms. Like I'm getting the waste. I'm converting what people's waste into. Um, I'm converting people's waste into um, into money, just like I would with mushrooms. Yeah, I'm sure they do, Krillin. All right, dudes, you guys have a great night. It was awesome communicating with both of you. Um, I, um, I'm i just going to be doing late night shows every night for a while just to get some content out there and uh, interact with some people. Um, Garage Flips, if you want to do, uh, or uh, Lonnie, if you want to do a show together, man, just let me know. Give me a topic. Uh, I sell everything from shirts to shoes to vintage jeans, electronics, knives, perfume, watches, audio, board games, toys, uh, antiques, artifacts. I sell everything. So if you want to do a theme show or you want to do a sales show, I do about, right now I'm 12 to 15 sales per day. So any, on any day I could share quite a bit but yeah I mean I just want to uh, I want to collaborate with more people and uh, get to know more people and uh, grow the community around me so I would love for anybody willing to do that to be a part of it so awesome thank you guys so much for coming I am done I, I'm I'm relentless on Instagram so if you send me a message on Instagram I will, uh, I will read it awesome thanks dudes Peace.